My name is Zach Brewer and I'm here at Y'all Fest, which is like the best teen festival in the world. The people here are so warm and so welcoming and they're like really genuine. You know, I mean, you walk down the street and people just want to help you and I'm not used to that. So it's, it's a wonderful place to come. I love coming here. Well, we come from a very small town in Georgia and we don't have many readers to connect with there. So coming to Charleston for this festival is just being surrounded by people who feel what we feel and it's really nice, it's really nice. I'm still a fangirl, so I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm one of the readers because I really wanted to come here last year as a reader and just meet my favorite authors. But it's great to just have so many amazing people in one spot and the panels are incredible. The food is really good and people are so nice and helpful. So this is like one of my favorite festivals. <laughs> For the aspiring authors, creatives out there, um, the thing that always worked for me is writing exactly what I want to see, what I want to read. Because um, you're your first, your first little piece of the audience and you always want to entertain your audience. And if you aren't loving what you're doing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show. Um, so don't try and write to like a trend or anything like that. Just write what you enjoy and what you love or else you're going to turn it into a job you don't like and who wants to do that? Reading is so important because it, it has a transportative effect. You can see places that you've never been, you can meet people you've never known, you can understand all different kinds of people and from all over the world, from all different walks of life, and it really is a great unifier. For me, the importance of reading has always been, since I was a child, has been escapism because I was really bullied as a kid. I came from a really abusive family. So to get away from all the crap in the world, I would dive into books and live out their lives and their problems. And really that's, I believe, the reason that I'm still alive today. <laughs>